This is Comet Neo Eyes. This is the fourth night in a row I've been lucky enough to see it with clear skies. The clouds just suddenly cleared there. I don't know how long this clearance will last, but I'm located on the Romo, Omer Road here in County Tyrone. I'm maybe meeting up with John Fagan and another couple of people later. This is the Comet through the telephoto lens at 400mm zoomed in on the 5D Mark IV, and I've literally just turned the video and maxed out the ISO. I can see it with the naked eye here between the trees, beautiful. It's still very bright twilight. twilight. The tail looks longer to me even in the twilight compared to yesterday, so I have a feeling we're in for a beautiful sight later when it gets darker. But there's, there's the comet and the twilight, beautiful. Even with the naked eye, it, in this bright twilight, I'm measuring about 2 degrees of teal. And last night I seen the teal at 5 degrees minimum. I'd say it's even longer tonight. It's a bright sky, but look how well it's coming out. It's magnificent. Beautiful, beautiful comet. I've seen a lot of naked eye comets over the years. I've observed over 100 comets through telescopes. Um, Hale Bop was my first comet, which got me hooked on comets. Uh, Akia Zhang was one of my personal favourites after that. I've seen many cool comets. I've seen McNaught in 2007, which was the last proper naked eye comet, but it was very hidden by the twilight glow close to the sun. So this here, from what I'm seeing last night and today, this is actually the best comet in the Northern Hemisphere, which I personally have witnessed since Hale Bop in 1997. It's just a long time ago, 1997 to 2020. It's been a long wait to see a naked eye comet of great calibre, but this one is doing it. What a beauty. Beautiful, beautiful comet. You can see the comet's actually drifting across to the right here, past the trees as the earth rotates. It'll get lower down in the twilight, and then it'll rise up again in the northeast before dawn. And the magic hour is between 1 o'clock and 2.30 a.m. when the sky's at its darkest and it gets higher, and it should look beautiful then. I don't know if it's going to stay clear till then tonight, but we'll, we'll certainly chance it. But what a show, and really enjoying this comet. I'm actually buzzing. Last night when I saw it from the outside of Cookstown, the clouds parted and I just saw the searchlight beam rising up from behind the clouds. That was the tail of the comet with the naked eye. Pure gold. I was blown away by what I was seeing. The comet between two trees just with a golden tail shoot straight up at an angle into the pre-dawn sky. It was phenomenal. I was absolutely blown away. I was actually quite emotional by the experience to be honest. I was really amazed. I actually didn't know what to do. I was just walking around the camera sort of cursing and stuff. <laughs> I was just blown away. Look at that, the, the coma is actually brightened there as the comma got lower. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful object. Right, I'm going to take a few more stills here.